So once you log into MailChimp, you'll notice that you have these icons down the side. And um, we're going to start with campaigns. And of course, you can add a whole brand new campaign, but I suggest if you already have campaigns that you simply duplicate the campaign. So if you click here in the down arrow, click on replicate. Once you've replicated that campaign, you can just copy and paste inside um, all of the boxes that you already have. Of course, uh, make sure that you click on edit name and change it to the new name. You're going to want to pay attention to the subject. If it's new, probably your subscribe contacts and your email address is going to stay the same. Then um, this edit design is really edit the content in general. It's not just the design, but also everything within that design. Once this pops open, you'll be able to see all of the blocks within yours and edit each block. So if I wanted to edit this block, I click on that block and it's going to pop up over here on the right hand side, which is the editor side. And I can simply highlight and delete or copy and paste over the top. You'll notice that you'll have your basic editors here. And then when you're finished with this block, you can click save and close and then just click down as you go. You'll notice that you have the move hand, so um, the foreheaded arrow, so that you can move your blocks in different areas. And one of my suggestions is to zoom way out if you're going to be moving a lot of these blocks around so that it's easier to drag and drop. And that's the control and the plus or the control and the minus sign in your browser. So you can edit, you can move, um, you can even duplicate the block if you like the look and the feel of the block. When you are finished, you can click continue, but what I suggest first is underneath preview to send a test email and then fill out your email address and have a test go to you to make sure everything looks right. And then when you're finished, you click continue and you can either schedule when you want this to be sent or you can send it right now. Pay one more attention to all of these details, again, especially this edit name, before you click send and your campaign's on the way.